Yeah, I, I think there is a, uh, at least I hope there's a place um, for the supermarket church, um, not to the detriment of a local corner shop, um, but to the benefit of the, of the gospel uh, in terms of the kingdom advance. I think there are certain roles that only larger churches can fulfill if they are missions oriented. I think if large churches are just happy to be large without, without giving away what they've been given in terms of planting churches or transplanting churches or supporting other ministries, then to me that, that's not a healthy you know, large church. But a large church that, that invests its people's time and resources in a whole variety of, of things, a gospel you know, driven initiatives, I, I think is, is commendable. Um, and I'd like, I'd like to believe that, that that's what we're trying to do here in Highfield. We don't always get it right. I think that, that large churches do have a, a, a role to play. Um, uh, so for example, we are able to provide as a large church very specialist um, staff to do, I, I think, effective uh, work in the community. So for example, our youth and children's work is it is run by you know dedicated staff who are full time and it's because they're full time that they can create some really excellent inroads into schools and community um, smaller churches are not able to 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 have staff that are um, set apart for that kind of role they're all generalists whereas a big church can offer specialisms um, I think as well, a big church can, can offer more by way of outreach opportunities. It can start creative programs, preschool music, um, um, f health and fitness uh, clubs, um, art classes. It, it, it has the capacity to, to, to be more effective evangelistically because it has, um, has all these, these gifts um, within, the, within the body of the church. That of course assumes that, that the body is, is, is fit for purpose as opposed to fat. And it is a danger that the, the large church becomes this sort of blob that simply you know, has people stuck to it who are not actively involved as believers and, and therefore uh, large churches have to work very hard at, at, at converting the fat into muscle, getting people into ministry, giving them opportunities. Um, but I've had experience in small as well as large churches and um, small churches can be uh, equally um, difficult places to function and serve uh, Christ uh, in as big churches. I, I don't think size itself is the issue. It's how people organize their organization, whether it's big or small. It's the mindset that, that dominates the big or small church. Uh, that will be key. Um, I, lastly, I'd say that, that large churches are needed in um, any culture because if you, if you look at what large churches are doing and can do even more, uh, that is, they can go support smaller churches. They can actually help plant new churches. It's the bigger churches who are doing this, not the smaller churches. So I think the future uh, of the strategic um, advance of the gospel in a place like Wales will will be largely determined by the willingness of the bigger churches to work together in in planting new churches. Small churches can't do that on their own. They're dying. And many of them probably actually should close um, uh, to enable a, a, a more joined up um, response in certain areas to the to the spiritual needs of the day. I, I mean, you know, it's proverbial that you can have in some of the valley contexts, six or seven different churches, all operating within the same you know, square mile uh, as buildings, but never working together, even those that are fairly like-minded in the gospel. Um, uh, so I, I'd say that yeah, big churches have a, have a better chance of doing more evangelistically, which is significant and serious than, than smaller churches.